In this tutorial, we're going to review how to use transparency in Photoshop. Transparency is a great tool that can give your images and your image editing a, uh, a much more professional look and feel. The way we're going to do it is we're going to pull up an image here and we're going to add a little ticker on the bottom, kind of like what you would see on the news. I'll uh, come and pick one of our rigs here. This is one of the rigs our company owns. And with this, uh, we're going to add a banner here at the bottom uh, that gives some information about the image. Um, so I'll make sure we have it centered. And now we're going to come up and first we're going to create a new layer. So come over here. And the easiest way to do it is hitting Command Shift N brings up a new layer panel and there's your new layer and now anything that we do here won't actually affect the image itself so uh, we're going to come and create let's see I'm gonna grab for this one add a little design element to it and grab the polygon lasso tool and come over and we'll want to bring it to about right here and we're going to start by clicking there, drag it down, not quite 45 degrees, but just to have a little angle. Click there to end it. Now click Shift, so when you go to the side, it gives you a perfectly straight line. And then do the same thing going up. And now take it over here. You see, wait until the little zero or the little um, circular mark goes right next to polygon tool. You can see if I'm away from it that means the uh, shape hasn't been completed yet. And when I get there I click it and now you can see that's been selected. So we have our area to work in and we're going to create a gradient here and we're going to do that by clicking the gradient tool and but because we're going to be using some transparent elements I'm not just going to use this by itself I'm going to come up here and I'm actually going to select this spot right here on the bottom um, you can also come here and collect, uh, select things like new gradient um, and you know, customize them that way and so I'm going to click on that and come over here and then just click and drag and now you can see that I've created a transparent little image right here that I could draw text on. Um, let me hit control Z and go backwards again. If I want to do a different type of background or a different type of color or gradient I can come over here and do a red to black one that kind of matches the look and feel of that rig and you can see now you have a really nice design element right there. Click Control D to unselect it. And now, because we don't want to have it exactly like this, we want to add some transparency to it, you can come over here and click on Opacity. And then drag it to about 75%. There you go. Now you can see that it actually is picking up elements in the background. So if we come and do some text, we can add that there, control T, and we're going to make this really nice and big. Hit enter. You can tell right here, I'm not applying any transparent elements to the text, so you can't see behind that at all, but I am to the banner. If you did want to make the text transparent at all, all you have to do is click on that text and then change the opacity to that. And as you can see, that can be adjusted however you want. I'm not going to do it for this one. I'm going to keep it 100%. And the next thing we're going to do is add a big block of text here. Obviously, there's no spot on this page where we can do that. So we're going to have to use transparency with a shape. And so I'm going to come over on the left-hand side, and we're going to click on the rectangle tool. And just click and drag a nice big rectangle right here. And as you can see, it gets filled up with a color that we definitely don't want. And so we're going to first right click on it, 
and rasterize the layer. Click on transparency. First thing we're gonna do is change it to kind of a charcoal color right here. Um, that's a little bit gray. I want something a little bit darker. There you go. Okay, obviously this looks like a weird image because we haven't applied transparency to it yet. So in order to do that, come over to opacity again and give it a really nice layer transparency. And so now what we can do is actually add text on top of this that is going to be readable, but you can still get all the nice uh, enhancements of being able to have a background image there. So uh, we want this text to be white and can make this a quote of saying, uh, this rig technology is really cool. That's by John Smith. Okay, and we want this text with control T, get nice and big. And we want this text to be aligned to the right. Yes, apply changes. Want it to be aligned the right. Select all. Let's align the right and move it back over. And so now we have our text. This type of image looks great for newsletters, websites, a lot of different things like that. But it's a great way of being able to incorporate background images and text and uh, different shapes by utilizing uh, transparency and some other uh, fun tools like that that Photoshop has. G uh, good job if you went through the tutorial and uh, created an end result like this. Nice work. And please let me know if you have any questions at all.